Sometimes we don't reflect on how much stuff we're carrying around with us when we're going to work. So today I'm going to show you my minimalist work bag and hopefully inspire you to get rid of some stuff in yours that you might not need to lug around. Let's dive in. Like many other people, I used to work in an office environment full time and then the pandemic hit and it changed the way we work. Uh, so for a lot of people who used to be in an office full time, they probably work from home all or part of the time now. Both my partner and I have home office setups in our new house. Uh, if you haven't seen the house tour of our new house, click up here um, and have a look at what it looked like before we move in. But we both work from home more often than we're in an office space, but naturally we still need to go into the office and I know that I used to be guilty before I really started to lean into minimalism. I just packed way more stuff than I needed to. I've done a tour as well of my minimalist handbag, which I will link up here as well as below. But essentially, I think we can often pare down the stuff that we carry around with us all the time. So let's have a look at what bag I've got. So when I was going into the office every single day, I actually used to use this bag a lot. This is a leather, large leather bag from Kiki K. And it was a treat to myself when I started my business many years ago. This bag is really great, but because it's a shoulder bag, it actually isn't that comfortable. If you've got a lot of stuff to carry with you, shoulder bags can actually really affect your posture and you can get really sore uh, from carrying it around. So about two years ago now, I actually purchased this bag here. And I have done a whole video on using this for minimalist carry on luggage when you travel. I'll link that video up here. But this bag is fantastic. I am not sponsored in any way, but I love this bag and it's really easy to use. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. And as far as both traveling and using it as an overnight bag, but also using it for day to day stuff in the office, it is absolutely brilliant. So what constitutes a really good work bag? Well, for me, I wanted a backpack because I knew that would help if I'm walking between places or I'm walking from the train or the tram. Um, and it's just so much better for your posture. I love my other leather bag, which is why I'm struggling to let go of it. But this is now the bag that I use instead. So what were my criteria? A, I wanted a padded separate laptop sleeve, which this bag has, and a main compartment with several different types of pockets. This one is great because you'll see the stuff that I carry with me on, on a daily basis. It is actually really important to be able to find things easily inside your bag. This bag also has two different front pockets where I can easily fit the stuff that would normally live in my handbag because I don't carry two bags around. If I'm going into the office, this is the only bag I bring. So I transfer the things very, very easily from my handbag into these two pockets and I'll show you that in a second. The final thing that I really like about this bag, if you're using it to travel, is that you can actually put it over your wheelie case if you have one. And it's got a secret, secret sneaky little pocket here with a zipper on it for your valuables, which can be really good whether you're just walking around town or you're in an office space or you're using it for travel. So let's start packing the things that I bring every single time. First up is my laptop which goes in the separate sleeve. I really like this because it means it's not gonna scratch or anything like that. Next up, of course, it's the charger for said laptop, which has its own little pocket in here. So it's really easy to find it. Next up is a good old notebook and a pen. I know we live in a digital age, but it's always good to have this handy if you wanna take notes or if you have a quick meeting with someone and it doesn't make sense to get your computer out. So in that goes. Next up, and you can relate to this if you are in a lot of online meetings, is headphones. I really like the Apple headphones, even though I don't have an iPhone anymore, but I find that those are more comfortable in my, in my ears. And I do think it's important to have comfortable headphones if you do spend a lot of time on video or audio calls. So they go in their own little compartment where I can easily find them. 
And I really like that all the pockets are divided up so I can actually organize my stuff and find it very easily. Next up is an external hard drive. I do a lot of video work as you know and video editing and sometimes I um, need to back things up not only in the cloud but on another device. So I also use this adapter between my laptop and the USB because I've only got USB-C on my computer. So these two always live together and they live in their own little compartment. Next up, I love my coffee, but I have found this Coleman thermos, I think it's five or 600 mil, is absolutely brilliant. It, um, if I find it, I will link it below for you on Amazon. But this is basically, it keeps hot drinks hot for up to six hours and it keeps cold drinks cold for up to 12 hours. So what I will often do, because I like to have two coffees in the morning, is I actually fill this up with coffee and almond milk, which is how I like it. And I can bring that with me and then I can give this a really good clean out and use it as a water bottle for the rest of my day. If you're really iffy about coffee flavor and water, etc., that might not work for you, but it works really well for me. It is leak proof. It's got a little mechanism up here. So it's not going to dribble coffee or anything in your bag. And this backpack is really handy because it's got a nifty little pocket right on the side so that you can quickly access it if you are traveling, whether you're driving or you're in um, on public transport or something like that. If you follow this channel, you know how much I love meal planning and I do bring my own lunch almost every day when I go into an office space. But a thing that I make sure that I always have in my bag is one or two of these. Just a simple muesli bar or snack of some kind. And this usually lives in one of the front pockets just so I can access it easily, even if I'm in a meeting or on a call. And next up is a face mask. I usually just have a clean disposable one in my bag. Here where I live, we're, it's not mandatory to wear them now, but we're going into winter and flu season. So I do like to have this with me and it just lives in the front pocket uh, with my snacks. And finally, I mentioned that this bag is water resistant, but it is not waterproof, which means that I usually have a small umbrella. This particular one is just from Ikea, but it's really nice, it's lightweight. And again, that goes in the front pocket where I keep my snacks and my mask so that I can easily grab it if it starts raining. I have done a whole separate video on what's in my minimalist handbag, so I will link that for you as well. I am about to do an updated version because I've actually bought a new handbag, so I'll take you along for that. That's coming very soon. But the stuff that I normally have in here, I will essentially just transfer into the other front pocket of my backpack. Because again, carrying around more weight than you need to, especially like for me, I often go between offices or between clients. So I'm actually on my feet for a fair bit of the day even when I'm in an office. And I don't really want to carry around the weight of this plus the weight of my other bag if I don't have to do that to my poor shoulders. So all I do is take the stuff out of the handbag and pop them into the front pocket. That way I know exactly where it is and the things that I have. And that is essentially everything that I keep on the regular in my work bag. If I'm traveling, I don't normally bring a mouse or a keyboard with me, but I have one set up in my home office, which is where I work most of the time. Of course, if you need to bring that kind of stuff with you, that's totally fine. Bring whatever you need to do your job well, but just ask yourself if you need to bring all those items with you to work comfortably. From time to time, I will also travel with my filming equipment or need to bring that with me when I'm going somewhere. But it is quite amazing that all these items actually fit very comfortably in the main compartment of my work bag. And naturally, depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going, I might not always bring all of these items with me.
So it's pretty amazing that you can scale up and scale down depending what line of work that you do. The main thing I would say is just ask yourself, do all the items in your bag fill a purpose? Do they help you work better and more comfortably? For example, my Coleman water bottle uh, slash coffee mug is not as lightweight as a plastic one would be, but it works really well. It keeps my coffee warm for literally hours if I'm traveling into work or if I have a longer trip ahead of me. And that not only saves me money on not having to buy coffee elsewhere, but I actually get to enjoy my coffee exactly exactly the way I like it and it's still hot a few hours later. So for me that's worth it and I'm happy to carry a little bit of extra weight there and get rid of something else. And I would love to hear from you what you pack in your work bag and your thoughts around how you can declutter and be a little bit more minimal about the things that you carry around with you every day. Please share in the comments below and as always please like and subscribe. It really really helps my channel and helps me make more videos like this to share with you guys. Have a great week and I look forward to see you in the next video.